Good evening. We have here your door, Hoima Akasha, making again another lecture piece episode for you. Today is May the 2nd, 2014, and that's in the calendar of the social norm, which some of us know or may not be accurate with the ancient calendars of prophecy like ancient Mayan and such. But we're not going to be talking about calendars right now. We're going to be talking about my fundraiser walk across Canada that I'm going to be doing this summer so we're in Taurus right now Gemini is going to be starting up really soon and what I'm going to start doing is, is walking from Vancouver and I want to see where I'm going to be by Virgo roughly by September um, if all pulls through well I'll be able to uh, bring my mom and hopefully my brother my little brother came I to come down to Penticton, Okanagan, BC and have them leave Ontario for a bit and check out BC later on after the season and then to work on other projects that are connected to the whole humanitarian scene coming from your door. The Kamikaze Ninja Pirate Love Production is a multi- level network reference co-op for healers and artists I'm looking to draw attention to healthy family awareness and special needs people as separate topics and as topics that come together as well draw attention to the liberation of the goddess in one of the festivals I'd like to be holding called the Sensual Fest along with the Festival of Ascension the Festival of the Heart known as the Heart Fest and Freedom Fest which is also something I'm planning to be holding or attempt to be holding out east also sometime in the later season. I'm thinking also it's just going to be Virgo this year. I'm going to give it to to find out how is it going to come together? Who do we already have? That's a for sure member of the Kamikaze Ninja Pirate Love production. Also for the Avatars of Grand Gatherings, which will be the main group that's responsible for holding the four annual festivals that are produced from Kamikaze Ninja Pirate Love Productions. Um, one thing I need to throw in there really quickly that I didn't remember in the previous lecture pieces, I have a copywriting idea that I need to put down right now. There's two that I didn't, I don't think I had put down earlier. There's the seed bombing idea for alternative perennial indigenous permaculture medicine and food seed bombs that are designed to be as paintball paintballs that are completely biodegradable thanks to this good brother here Christopher a fellow artist slash healer also a part of the Kamikaze Ninja Pirate Love production he reminded me of that idea and I figured I'd need to copyright that for the group right away the next one I need to get down in there as a copywriting for us along with the other ideas in the rest of the lecture series is I'd like to call talismanals talismanals 
it's an animal but it's a talisman and you get to keep it like this for example you have a teddy bear and uh, this teddy bear would be designed to be a specific size for example three feet uh, or two feet or one foot just using sizes that's related to the human body the golden ratio then what these stuffed animals have what makes our stuff the stuffed animals really special they're talismans so what's on them is is there's a specific seal that's stitched on to the teddy bear the teddy bear's fur color is a consistent color with the seal which is also a talisman of the animal so it could be a teddy bear but it also it could be a stuffed cat or a dog or a, a mystical animal or something like a Pokemon but not a Pokemon because that's their copyright so it would just be like a mythical creature type of stuff animal that has a seal stitched on to it that's themed to the animal and the color of the animal's fur and now here's the finishing touch the talisman has a scent package in it where you drip essential oils into a certain pouch in the teddy bear and then the pouch falls, falls shut and sealed with velcro and you can always add more of the essential oil to this teddy bear that you can carry around with you and sleep with to help you in astral travel or dream and working in the etheric planes and such this is here's the bonus part to the talisman is for example i've got a pink teddy bear of love and it has uh hearts on it and certain seals and numbers stitched into it but on the inside okay there's a zipper that gives me access to the inside of this teddy bear and then there's a tumbled piece of rose quartz you see where I'm going now and that's in the main part of this pink teddy bear that I'm holding and then inside the teddy bears head could be another really cool stone it could be bloodstone it could be uh, a healing stone or a healing crystal you know it could be citrine uh, saffronite or something so there you go that's that's two more copyrighted ideas for our group co-op kamikaze ninja pirate love productions there's also kamikaze pirate ninja love productions which i'll talk to you about later on they're basically the same group but they're slightly working on other uh, duties that will be split between the group so that group it's the same group similar names this is where we're going right now okay now I'm thinking to start up this walk as I'm walking across Canada here I'm hoping that volunteers will jump in and help find sponsors for some group that pertains to special needs people in Canada and it pertains to also utilizing diversities so recognizing how to make use of special needs people for example watch the movie Rain Man with Tom Cruise and that other really cool actor right you check that movie out and you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about and then the other point is is if we can find a group that we're raising funds for healthy family awareness it's some kind of family support group throughout Canada and just to put a tiny cherry on top is the awareness of the health benefits of cannabis I'm not going to go any further on that because there's already a bunch of people working on that just keep in mind a part of the kamikaze pirate love production is the greener thumb 
which I'm going to have to elaborate on in the near future. Just right now, it's about saying thank you to all of you guys that are helping out, putting the word out, putting in your own contributions and your own ideas. Thank you for uh, making use of some of the ideas that I've been putting out there so far. And sometimes you might notice in my videos it might look like I'm not completely prepared. It's because I'm multitasking and sometimes I have to just get her done and catch myself kind of off guard because it's spontaneous. It's about getting it done before certain periods of time. Now, what I was hoping here is if this good brother here, okay, Christopher and Penticton, I'm hoping you'd have some questions for me right away. Questions? Just some questions for me right away about the walk or what exactly would I need help with, with friends or the more immediate volunteers that would the top volunteer of the volunteer ranks they'd be called volunteers for now but later on once the machine that we're building is functioning you guys would be responsible for many different uh, duties and missions and blessings coming from the group for the people for the love of humanity practically speaking where people want to come together for humanitarian purposes. Right? Which adult. So we're not the only ones. And there's, there's a bunch of people out there. No more than we know. Yeah. There's the Spirit Science Group. There's the Thrive Group. There's all these really cool groups. There's something from Thrive that I really need to mention. Okay. If you ever watch this documentary you can find on YouTube called Thrive, you'll notice that somewhere in the beginning of this piece they'll mention some home scientists that did some research at home and some of them figured out how to generate perpetual energy or generate electricity and stuff like that. I'm looking also for other people that want to research some more. Dig up try to find blueprints on machines like that where we're generating perpetual energy or we're using the toroidal feel find a way wiki leak get the blueprints because from there all we would need is an engineer to put these machines together that we can use for our festivals out in the woods just being able to generate our own electricity and not really bother anyone. Save a bunch of money on gas. Save a bunch of money on <laughs> gas. We don't even want to add to the greenhouse emissions. We want to find a way to draw attention to these countries to come together and clean up the radiation leak that's hurting the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, that's being ignored. Right? Mm -hmm. We don't want to ignore stuff like that. Okay? <laughs> and pay any attention to the distractions the bad guys are putting up for us to instigate countries to be fighting each other, man. We need to find out why the Holy Land is called the Holy Land. You need to find out where human origins took place. And if you respect being human, you want to respect places like that and find out where it's all coming from and where the motherland is and why you want to respect that. People, I'm asking you, please, Dub me up. I mean, do the research. Look into things. You can't always wait for us crazy unemployed people to come tell you anything. You know, you're going to assume <laughs> you're going to assume that we're crazy, right? So kind of look for yourself to kind of back up what we're sharing with you instead of sitting there assuming that we've lost our marbles, man. Don't let history repeat ourselves itself that happened with Noah and a lot of people that have brought magnificent breakthroughs to the table to help all of humanity people had once thought were crazy 
even some people were punished for just saying the earth was round. Now we need to find us another way to explain that there's a lot of lines that are in our conceptual lines that are not straight. They're loop and we exist in a fractal. We need to come together and that's where our jobs come together. So I want to big up unity and I want to big up all y'all healers and artists around the world working together. All of us are going to dive in deep. All of us are going to break on to the other side. All of us have some price to pay for being ourselves and for all the skills that we have. It could be ambidextrous brain like Carmine Ranger and, and Harry Potter. Right? But you still get to choose Sam. Exactly who you want to work for. Is there anything else? Uh, did you want to add anything? Or? Hmm. Well, Kamikaze Ninja Pirate Love Production is Kamikaze Pirate Ninja Love Production. Right? Yeah. Because there's different forms of Kung Fu. Kung Fu means studyology, the study of studying to understand different ways of training or programming or reprogramming, wearing. That's something we're working on now. We're working on gathering artists and healers to put together not just bands and techno music groups, like Grey Feather Cymatics, but we want to hold workshop festivals that are geared to the people, the people's parents and the people's children, right? Now, to hold those, we need people to come together, people that care. We need him. People that haven't given up into addictions and stuff like that. Even they can recover from it. We can heal them and bring them back. Quick note before we shut her down is what are we? Is well coming from me, I'll throw it like this. We are human. We are the image of the source creator of everything, and the source creator of everything's holy name is love. That's what we want to talk about, and you don't need to follow any religion to understand that if the source creator of everything is limitless, how can there be any outside of it? And so we see again that it's thanks to the first angel providing us with the illusion of separation. Join me on my walk, because I'm going to join you on your walk, potentially. Maybe we're walking at the same time, or maybe you'll find out that I'm passing through, and you want to help out by editing my videos or finding out some more. You want to help put up some blogs, make some websites. Yeah, social networks. Media, media, media. People say we need more cameras pointed at politicians. The real thing is we need more cameras pointed at wealthy people. Can you imagine that? Watching murder and strife on the television. Not very often you see a good positive message on there. Thanks to the cameras. But yeah, Dor. Um, yeah, you're going to start in Vancouver? Or when you end it? I want to... I wanna... And the walk out east. I'm not uh, my land. Something like Newfoundland, something like out east. I'm not sure yet where I want to put it off. Maritime. But maritime sounds very delicious. <laughs> right? But wherever I'm going to pull it off, I'm hoping that I'll find some members out there that want to share their land with the whole collective. And then we'll... We'll show our gratitude by holding a beautiful festival on their land and just bring the love and bless it 
and uh, especially people that have already situated themselves with a land that's for um, just taking care of itself. Sustainability is what we're doing. Sustainability. It's taking care of itself. If you want to share that type of land with, uh, with us so that we can hold our festivals on and bring awareness to this, bring awareness to this, come back to the group, dig up Kamikaze Ninja Pirate Love Productions, dig up Ogo Drone, O-G-O space D-R-O N-E. Not, not to put down a hippie commune or not. Great, great idea. We want the system stuff. and all that, but to me, I look at it a little differently. We got these well, great, positive, well-to-do, intelligent people that are enlightened, and they've removed themselves from the place that we need them in the cities where the infection is. We need doctors, man, and they're all out in the woods. So we want to bring my man Door to your doorstep, and maybe we'll extract a little bit of knowledge out of you. And Bridge worlds. Bridge worlds, exactly. Man. And just from the system, so that man. the energy from within, so without, you know, from above, so below. Yeah. That's how it works. We're gonna tear it down from the from, from the inside out. You look at Occupy. Everyone says it failed. I think I think it was a complete success. Occupy <laughs> was good because <laughs> people got to success. see each other. Yes, exactly. But some of Occupy looked like it was a scam where there were certain key characters that came out. Oh, and if yeah. they were grabbed, certain people went yeah. missing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And certain protesters that were wanted were just grabbed. They were seized yeah, and then yeah. they were gone. Yeah. And the thing about protesters is, is they get the biggest charges. They get the big charges, man. It's amazing. Oh, sometimes they're both. Maybe sometimes they're both. But that's that's activists, a whole other story. Activists, that's protesters. a whole other story. You know that that's, that uh, goes back to. You know, I had someone tell me that uh, 